Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to talk about the connection between chemotherapy and fasting. Now a number of my patients receive both the conventional therapy and naturopathic therapies so that we can support a person's body as they go through chemotherapy. And one of the tactics that we can use is fasting. Now there is research that shows that people who fast actually have a better outcome if they fast while doing chemotherapy. Now I think this is really important research that should be spread and told to people who are going through chemotherapy because we can actually improve the results of chemotherapy agents in terms of the human physiology. Now chemotherapy can be effective at breaking down cancer cells and breaking down tumors but the challenge is, is that chemotherapy can also be quite toxic on the body. And what they're showing is that if you incorporate fasting while doing chemotherapy, it actually helps to decrease the toxic effects of the chemotherapy. It helps to decrease the side effects that people will typically get when they are going through chemotherapy. They've also shown that fasting can delay the growth of some cancer cell types. And fasting done with chemotherapy has been shown to be protective of normal cells. So often normal cells are damaged with chemotherapy, but when you incorporate fasting, then you can have some protection of those normal healthy cells. Doing fasting with chemotherapy has been shown to potently sensitize those cancer cells to the chemotherapy agent. So it actually helps that chemotherapy agent to work more effectively when a person has fasted. And they've also shown that it increases survival rates by a significant amount. So how do we do fasting with chemotherapy? Now, what they've shown is that what you need to be doing is you need to be doing a water fast. So you're not consuming any other food other than water. And you are fasting two to three days prior to receiving that chemotherapy agent. And then you are fasting for at least 24 hours after receiving that chemotherapy agent. So in terms of how long afterwards, it says at least 24 hours, but that timeline is really dependent on the half-life of that chemotherapy agent. So if the half-life is 36 hours, then we need to be fasting for longer. So we need to be fasting for 36 hours after you receive that chemotherapy agent. And so in general, it's gonna be two to three days prior to receiving the chemotherapy agent and one to two days after receiving the chemotherapy agent. So you are fasting, just a water fast, and that will actually help the chemotherapy agent to work more effectively. All right, so I hope you found that helpful. Please share this with your friends and family, press the like button, make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.